So it's knowing how to approach clients and, and kind of getting rid of some of those old pushy sales tactics um, that uh, realtors have used in the past and incorporating more of a relationship that then leads to buying or selling a home. This interview is brought to you by O'Neill Interactive. O'Neill Interactive designs and develops high performance, award-winning websites for home builders all across the United States. More leads, more sales, and smart, friendly support. O'NeillInteractive.com. Everybody, Quint Lear's NewHomesales.com. I'm here at the International Builder Show, the 2019 International Builder Show with Melissa Tracy. Melissa, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Quint. It's so great to be catching up with you here at the Builder Show. So there are a lot of, get, th and thanks for being with us, there are a lot of people right now that are aspiring bloggers. They're aspiring writers. They're aspiring influencers. You're like all of it and more, you know, you've got a, a, an award-winning blog, you're in a, a radio show, you're a radio host, you're a writer for uh, multiple publications, including Realtor. How in the world uh, did you even get involved with all of that? Well, that was a very flattering introduction. Thank you, Quinn. Um, so I have been a journalist covering the housing industry for the past decade, and mostly for the National Association of Realtors with Realtor Magazine. Um, back in 2010, we started a blog called Styled, Stage, and Sold, and it covers all the latest home trends and staging trends, how you can prepare your home for sale. Um, it's really giving, it's a community of real estate professionals and stagers where we come together and say, here's what we can do to maximize the value of our house and show it in the best light. Um, also, I work for Real Estate Today, uh, where you can catch my segment with host Stephen Gasquay. Um, it's a segment called Hot or Not, and we basically put the home trends to the test. Um, whether what's trending, what's not in home design, it's a fun segment. So what is trending? Because if you were to say like, hey, here's one, two, maybe three things that uh, are trending right now. All right. Well, at the Builder Show, I can tell you um, one of the things that I'm most excited to hear about um, is smart home trends. You know, we've been hearing about smart home technology for a very long time. But the reason why I'm so excited about it right now is uh, voice tech. Amazon Alexa, the Google Home. It's really making smart home technology easy to use. Uh, it's no longer opening an app on your phone or disconnected apps and you're trying to figure out how to turn on your lights or turn them off. It's just telling Alexa, hey Alexa, turn on the lights or Alexa, open the door. Um, I think that's really exciting and we're seeing more builders partner with Amazon, Google to really show the potential of the smart home. So I think that's one big trend that I'm here at the Builders Show really investigating. So you, but you're also involved with, you know, not just the technology, but like the high touch, the psychological aspect of it. Talk to us about um, some of the writing and blogging that you've done around the psychology of home buying and uh, sales. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, prior to writing about real estate, I wrote about psychology. And I've been able to take some of that background and apply it to real estate. Um, and that there's so much research out there that really talks about the science of relationships, social selling, negotiations. You can really apply it to your prospecting negotiations, your client follow-ups. Um, there's so much research out there. And uh, we have a column at Realtor Magazine called Relationship Management that really highlights some of this research that you can apply into your business to take with you as far as nonverbal communication and how you're presenting yourself and how to better read your buyer. Um, are they getting uncomfortable at certain stages and what should you do to ease the tension? Uh, there's so much that, that can give, be. Give us one tip or one mistake that you see any, in, in any realm, marketing, sales. And the reason I ask that is because a lot of us are 
worried, like, you know, am I doing it right? Am I, what's a, that we're scared to make a mistake when it comes to, you know, uh, sales. Is it being pushy? Is it not being pushy enough? Is, what's the balance? Yeah, I mean, definitely like the days of probably knocking on someone's door. Now, that said, I have seen realtors that have done door knocking still in this century, and it has been very successful. Hold on. Stop knocking on doors. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just going to say it, right? <laughs> people knock on my door. I'm like, what, who is this dude? A lot of people aren't going to answer now, and, and they're going to be a little skeptical. So it's knowing how to approach clients. And and maybe that's through a home buyer seminar. Maybe um, that's uh, some of the best examples I've seen is through community events. It's people already in your network and um, it's growing it that way, the knocking on a door, kind of getting rid of some of those old pushy sales tactics um, that uh, realtors have used in the past and, and incorporating more of a relationship aspect and a natural relationship that then leads to buying or selling a home. Unless you're selling encyclopedias, right? Then we still door knock. And then, and then you can still door knock, of course. <laughs> hey, no, look, I know you've got a super busy show and uh, we got to get you on the road. But, I, um, okay, a lot of people are trying to be influencers, writers, bloggers. Give me one tip or one thing you wish you knew uh, a few years ago when you got started. I know you're sort of young in it, but like you've reached some pinnacles. You're with some of the top publications and radio programs in the industry. Give me one tip for an influencer like me who's trying to be out there doing kind of what you're doing. Well, obviously for realtors, content marketing is so important. Um, making yourself available to reporters is a great way to become an influencer in your community. Um, so it's not necessarily having to start a blog or start a video channel. Of course, that's great. If you have that talent, do it. But but if you don't have the time for that, still get your find ways to get your name out in your community and be that expert. And the best way is to go to your local newspaper and and be a, be a source to them to talk about what's happening with home sales um, and and make yourself available or the design trend, latest design trends, make yourself that expert because people will see your name in the newspaper or a magazine or on the news and be like, oh, I want to work with them. They're an expert. And to that point, you know, you, you were ready. You weren't expecting to, you know, drop your stuff. Okay, we'll do, you know, we're scrambling around throwing questions at you left and right. Um, how do we connect with you? So I want you to connect with her, follow, subscribe. What's the best way to connect, follow you, and what you're doing? Yeah, well, you can check me out on it's Styled, Stage, and Sold. That's the blog. Um, as I said, we have a great community um, there. We're always looking for guest contributors if design and home staging. Um, also, uh, I write for Realtor Magazine, and we're always welcoming uh, feedback from realtors, story ideas. So um, feel free to reach out that way as well. You're making a big in impact, and we're very thankful for what you're doing for the industry, educating uh, and pioneering and, and uh, raising the standard. Thanks again. Thank you, Quinn.